For I lift up my hand to heaven and say, I live forever. If I whip my glittery sword and my hand take hold on judgment, I will render vengeance to my enemies and will reward them that hate me. See, you can't say you love them when you say when you at war with the most high, when you are following the way of this world. The world says what? You got to think about it. When you think about, okay, how you think, and then you bring it to somebody that know the word, then how you think they're going to be? You bring it how you think of the world to somebody that know the word. They don't say you're the enemy of the most high. You're dealing with Satan. Then people get an attitude because you tell them they deal with Satan. But hell, who they dealing with? Y'all tell me. Maybe y'all know. Because the most high says this, and they say that. <laughs> he said this was right. They say this was right. So who's right and who's wrong? The most high is right. That's who's right. How we know what's right, according to what's as written right here. You know? And, and you can't go though, you can't go wrong with him. You can't go wrong with him. That's why when you look at I mean there's so much here to understand just a little bit. You know, if all I mean, come on, all these books. All these books and all these pages. And it's going to take a thousand years for us to know of the Most High? Are you serious? A thousand years? And we study and study and study and hopefully you are. Look, Numbers 14 and 18. Numbers 14 and 18. The Most High is long-suffering and of great mercy. Great mercy, that's what he's given us. He's given us great mercy. Great mercy. He's of great mercy. What is mercy? Not getting something that you do deserve. Forgiving iniquity and transgression. And by no means clearing the guilty. Hear that? By no means clearing the guilty. You guilty, you ain't, ain't going to be clear. He gives you mercy, right? But you ain't going to be clear of the, of the wrong that we have done. It says, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation. The third and fourth generation. That's saying something. That's why we got to really look at this sincerely. Because I don't think people, I don't think people fear the Most High enough. I don't think people know the Most High. I don't think I think people exclude the Most High because they figure that they don't think about Him. Because I think you think more of yourself than the Most High. I think because it's because it's too much concentration on Israel. Too much, too much concentration on Israel. And we don't know, we don't know the most high. We don't really know. Well enough to realize that whew, he's no joke. There's no, I mean, when you look at, you know, we went through all the plagues that he did in Egypt. There's a lot of static on the phone. Somebody, somebody phone up static. Could you press star six? So you're not saying anything. So could you press star six? And then if you want to say something, Unmute yourself. We have to mute the whole call. You disturbing everybody. Unless you're the devil. See the devil gonna do that. See like it got worse since I said it. So everybody in the phone conference, could you press star six? Okay, you all right then, it ain't, it ain't you. Everybody else? Okay, somebody pressed star six, now you don't hear it. If y'all hear things like that, let me know if it's disturbing you. Because I know I'm hearing it, it's disturbing me. Don't just go through that like that. Y'all got the power. <laughs> Shut that sucker, whoever, whatever it is, whoever it is. <laughs> That's right. We got 
gotta do what we gotta do, y'all. Make this work. It's gotta be alright for everybody. I don't like, you know, it's not right for uh, somebody to be disturbed whenever we trying to really have time to go through what we gotta go through to try and make it. Look at uh, Jeremiah, the 30th chapter. We'll start at verse 1. Jeremiah 30 and 1. To the word that came to Jeremiah from the Most High while Mashiach Abishai sang, Thus speaketh the Most High, power of Israel, saying, Write thee all the words that I have spoken unto thee in a book. That's why we have these words in the book of Jeremiah. For lo, the days come, said the Most High, that I will bring again the captivity of my people Israel and Judah. Talking about the twelve tribes of Israel. Because the northern kingdom was called Israel, southern kingdom was called Judah. And it was split after King Solomon died. And under his son Rehoboam, who was his son, and Jeroboam, who was the leader of the northern tribe, ten northern ten tribes. And Rehoboam was the leader of Judah, which is the southern tribes, which is Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. It says, said the Most High, and I will cause them to return to the land that I gave to their fathers, and they shall possess it. That's what we're waiting on. That's salvation to Israel. And these are the words that the Most High spake concerning Israel and concerning Judah. For thus said the Most High Power, We have heard a voice of trembling, of fear, and not of peace. Hear that? Heard a voice of trembling, and fear, and not of peace. Though they call a peace, there is no there's, there's no peace for us. There's no peace for us. You know why? Because we got next. And when we had the ability to have them in subjection to Israel, it was something else. We ran them into Caucasus Mountains. You think they forgot that? Who did that? That's in their spirit. It's like we, I mean, they beat it out of us to know who we are. While coming back, we're the number one threat to the whole world. Because we got next. As it is written. He said he heard a voice of trembling, of fear, and not of peace. See, actually now. And see whether a man does travail with child. How a man will have a baby? Say a man travailing with a baby, like having contractions to have a baby. Wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins? Oh, hurting on his loins because it's ease and pain. As a woman in travail, and all faces are turned into paleness, just can't really deal with the pain and the fear and the trembling. That's going on for not following the law of such commandments of the Most High. Till last, for the day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. That's salvation. This is a time of Jacob's trouble. This is a time of Israel's trouble. Everybody walking around like everything will be cool, everything is all right. Don't you realize this is a time of Jacob's trouble? Better recognize, stop playing around. That's why what the most I say in this laws, we gotta do and be an example of coming back to our laws that's commandments. Y'all, y'all take it lightly. Especially out here in Cali, but y'all, y'all just walking around like this, you you just everyday people. Strange apparel. You 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 you're not really looking at as much, not everyone I won't say, but the majority of that I see. It's like just everyday people. Who the Israelites? You walk down the street, you know, I know from growing all across the country, 
and seeing Israelites, and you recognize them. Oh, that's an Israelite. That's an Israelite. You looking, come shoot. You might see a brother as an Israelite, maybe have a beard. That might be all you know out here. See, the an Israelite. I mean, everybody coming back to our culture like we should. So when the Most High come bring it back, and you sitting around looking like, who would have thought it wouldn't thank it no more? And like the world, well, that's a part of the world. We ain't part of the world. I know, I know places I went with my garments on that just stood out crazy with a garment on. Just, just go and it just, it's just, it's spirit. Just a spiritual, y'all. It's not, it's not carnal. But if you ain't experienced anything of that nature, you don't know. It's spiritual. He said, "Put on thy strength." Why you got no strength? Why you got? Why you got the, the power? Oh, a young man when you older, or, or, or a young man that's acting like he's old. He got no power. All this, all this combined together works to make it work for us. He's not a man that he should lie. I been walking down in New York. I went to New York. Everybody was like, "Shalom, brother, shalom, shalom." Y'all about shalom, shalom. Yeah, I mean, it's like you go places. It's like. It's there, man. It's like, wow. And you long for that. You see that as, like, you know, when I went to Jamaica, it was like, you see the brothers, they knew about us. You know? All, all, mostly all of us. You know what I mean? Anybody that's even like this stood out in that crowd. Because the sun is so powerful. Everybody, you go there, you're going to be dark. <laughs> you gonna, that pigment and melody is going to come out of you. It's going to make you dark. It's for real. But it's beautiful, you know, to see our people enlightened, you know, just just be around our people that's, that has uh, love and, you know, know that you're Israelites and appreciate being an Israelite, don't? Ain't no shame in this, I hope. I don't, I ain't no, I don't know, I'm not ashamed. Y'all ashamed to be Israelite? Some of y'all? <laughs> I feel good being an Israelite. I feel, and I feel, I feel good anytime, every day or any day, put on the garment and go out there and do what I got to deal with and, and, and roll, scroll. Tomorrow they got a, uh, they got another uh, power that they're going to have with the, uh, with Gad. I'm looking at trying to attend. Get more involved with them. Now somebody's phone is, somebody need to press star six, it's back again. So we gotta, we, we have to grow, y'all. We gotta grow. We can't stay, you can't stay the same. Look at, just look at, just take an analysis of yourself and go back a couple of years and see where you're at now. You got to be growing. We got to have something to show that, okay, I have growth here. I have growth there. You know, you got to have visions. You, know, you, you have to have visions for yourself, first and foremost. Because you can't have visions unless, unless, you can have visions with dead people. You got to have visions with lively people. So you got to be lively. The spirit is lively. It's going to follow what it's supposed to do, do what's right. What you gonna do? Man, I can't stand this noise. Man. Luke one sixty eight. Luke one sixty eight. They say we fear and trembling and like a woman in travail holding our stomachs, we all broke down. It says, Blessed be the most high power of Israel. We have visited and redeemed his people. 
to his people as a person of possessive pronoun showing ownership who represents the children of Israel and have raised up and horn with me power of salvation for us in the house of his servant Jacob meaning he had to come through the lineage of David who was a Mashiach Yahweh Shah this power that he raised up for salvation is a Mashiach Yahweh Shah as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets which have been since the world began we, we was looking at Jeremiah the 30th chapter it says that we should be saved from our enemies. We gotta be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all that hate us. That's what we gotta be saved from. We gotta be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all that hate us to perform the mercy promised to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. Remember the Most High's holy covenant who we make it with? The oath which he swore to our father Abraham, that he would grant unto us, the us is the children of Israel, twelve tribes of Israel, that we being delivered out of the hand of our enemies might serve him without fear. That's what we're looking for. But right now, this is a time of Jacob's trouble. This is a time of Jacob's trouble. But you don't realize it until it come home. When he hit home, then you're going to realize, oh, it is, we is in trouble. Oh, now you're going to start to fear. Now you're going to be afraid. It's too late then. Because at the time of Jacob's trouble, we're going to look at his trouble and get ourselves together because we know better. We're going to look at everybody else going through whatever they're going through and you're not going to see it happening to over our way because he's going to make sure that the blessings come through. Hallelujah to the Most High. No matter what anybody want to say, think of this way or that way, whatever, he always have come through. He always comes through. Always. When it seems like there's no way, he's always come through with a way. Always. And to the point where you don't worry because you have faith in him. And if you don't have faith, listen, you need some stories. I can tell you a whole lot of stories. But if you need more stories, we can get other people to tell you more stories about how he came through for them. Because he never came through for you, then how he's working for you? You might be a bastard. Because we love each other, but he always comes through. It might be that last minute, that last second, but bam. I, I know people, he just come through right there. Bam. That little y'all. I can't say nothing else, but he always come through. Always. Look. Psalms 105, 8 to 10, because it says in verse 72 of Luke 1, in the first chapter, to perform the mercy promised to our Father and to remember his holy covenant. So that's very important. We're just looking at who this us is. So a lot of times people can say that's to anyone that call on the name of Jesus. Let's see if the covenant was to anyone that called on the name of Mashiach Galva Shah. Let's look at it. Psalms 105 and 8. He had remembered his covenant, which is a contract with a beauty forever. The word which he commanded to a thousand generations, which covenant he made with Abraham and his oath to, unto Isaac, and confirmed the same unto Jacob for a law, and to Israel for an everlasting covenant. Okay? It's to, we are the children of Israel, it's to us. That's to us that is talking about salvation is coming to. Look. Wisdom of Solomon in the Apocrypha. Wisdom of Solomon, the fifth chapter. Let's look at this. Because salvation is promised to us. That's why we have to get ourselves together. It says, Then shall a righteous man, Wisdom of Solomon 5 and 1. It says, then shall a righteous man stand in great boldness in the face of such as afflicted him and made no account of his labor. When they see it, they shall be filled with terrible fear and shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation. I hope I read that right, because that's, 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 that's missing out of my Bible. But I, 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 think I, I think I read it right. 
they're going to be amazed and strangers of his salvation. That's what we're looking at. So far beyond all that they look for. They're looking for salvation or to be saved. Like they said they saved now, they figure that the most high going to pass over them. No matter what nation it is. But he's going to pass over the Israelites. And not all nations. Because all nations have a certain chariot that they're going on. When he brings the fire to the earth, then he's going to bring them back down here to serve the children of Israel. He that live in captivity shall go into captivity. He that kill with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here's the faith and patience of the saints. Revelations 13 and 10. So, that's the judgment. That's what's going to go down. Just like we in captivity, slavery, and bondage. I mean, come on now. Everybody paying taxes to the uh, IRS, Internal Revenue Service, going to be the Israelite redeeming services. <laughs> what can I say? As it is written. That's what we're working for. I hope that's salvation for Israel, power, rulership, and authority. The saints shall take the kingdom and possess the kingdom. How long? Forever and ever and ever. But when they see that, they're going to be amazed at the strangers of our salvation. So far beyond all that they look for. Because they don't believe what we're saying is true. I don't care if they hear it a thousand times. I'm going to tell you why they're never going to believe it. And why they're never going to come to the light of the truth. That's how you know who is who. To a certain extent. It says, and they, repenting and groaning for anguish of spirit, not loving spirit, not happiness, not joy, but anguish of spirit, when they see our salvation coming, shall say within themselves, this was he whom we had it sometime in derision, and a proverb, a disgrace, I mean disgrace, a reproach, right here, a disgraceful Name, I mean, condition that they had us in, ghettos and slums, eating out of trash cans, I mean, eating out of whatever you can think of, just try, just barely making it, period. And they send all this money over to these countries like Africa all the time, talking about they starving. You got people right here in America dying from starvation. It's a wicked place, man. Say, we fools, that's what they're going to be saying. We fools are counted as life madness. Like they look at this, they might be looking at this right now. And say, oh, them Hebrews like, they, them cats is crazy. They mad. They count our life as madness. And it's in to be without honor. So they look at us. And you too. See, how is he numbered among the children of the Most High? And his lot is among the saints. You got to think about what is being said in Luke. As he's saying us. He's saying us. Meaning the Israelites. He said us. Salvation to us. Meaning the Israelites. But if you don't know that it's your book, then you're reading and thinking about it somebody else. Who do you think the us talking about? Most people in the world probably think they're talking about the Jewish people. That's living over there in Israel right now. In our land. That's a lie. That's what we know what they're going to be saying. That's what they're going to be saying as we reach the salvation. How is he numbered among the children of the Most High? And his lot is among the saints. Therefore have we erred from the way of truth. And the light, which is the law of the commandments of the Most High. And the Mashiach, Yavashiach, to show us how to follow the laws of the Most High. Of righteousness, that's how you be righteous. Keeping the laws of the Most High. Have not shined unto us. Y'all hear this? The laws of the Most High have not shined unto them. Amashiach Yavashai, who is the light, have not shined unto them. Now you can work all you want to to make it shine unto them. He said, do what they're going to be saying. Therefore have we erred, that means they have erred from the way of truth. What's the truth? The law. Psalms 119, 142, old death. They have erred from the way of truth. Now, how you gonna how you gonna think you gonna follow them? And they tell you that they have erred. Everything is past tense. This is what we go, this is the future of salvation. Everything is past tense. 
they have erred from the way of truth. This is what they're going to be saying. Now you're going to follow them now in your lifetime? And they tell you in the in the future, they're going to be saying that they have erred from the way of truth. What's the truth? Psalms 119, 142. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and thy law is the truth. So they have erred from the law of the Most High. They have erred from the law of the Most High. That's what they're going to be saying. You understand me? This is what they're going to be saying. Y'all hear me? Hear the word of the Most High. Wisdom Solomon 5 and 6. Therefore have we erred from the way of truth, and the light of righteousness has not shined unto us. And the sun of righteousness, the wisdom of Knowing the laws of statutes, commandments of the Most High, rose not upon us, didn't rise upon them. And it's amazing how people looking to them to find the answer. There's a reason why I know why it's written why. And some people think that gain is is, is godliness or righteousness because they it's their time to it's their turn. The rule. It says, verse 7. We're starting with 5 and 7. We weary, all this is past tense. Now you know, this is what they're going to be saying in the future. We weary, that's past tense, ourselves in the way of wickedness and destruction. That's what they have done. Right now, they deal with wickedness and destruction. Destroy everything. Earth defiled and the habits thereof. I mean, come on. They cloning everything. They, they going into the labs and making, changing, I mean, changing the regular fruit into something that we ain't, our forefathers never had no watermelons without no seeds in it. Grapes without seeds in it. Unheard of. I wonder what Abraham do it. We had a, a dang nectarine, <laughs> a club and a, and a uh, peach mixed together. And all the things that they're going in the lab and creating and giving us to eat. You know, all kind of madness. This was meat. I mean, I've seen this cat, he's selling human body parts. Wickedness and destruction. They stealing these people, take, gutting them out like you would a, a dang old fish. Eat a fish. Gutting them, taking all their organs out. They use them for their purposes. It's a wicked world. It's a wicked world. That's why they said we buried ourselves in the way of wickedness and destruction. Yeah, we have gone through deserts where there lay no way. See? And we're going to get Job. Oh, that get Job. 12 and 24. Job 12 and 24. He take away the heart of the chief of the people of the earth. And Esau is the chief people of the earth at this time, the Edomites. He take away their mind and causes them to wander in a wilderness where there lay no where there is no way. <laughs> they grope in the dark without light and he maketh them to stagger like a drunken man that's where it is man because it's telling you that listen what it says all this applies to the future now why would you come on did you press star six whoever that was just came online that just pressed star six to come on to mess up the conference call Wisdom Solomon 5 and 7 again. So we weird ourselves in the way of wickedness and destruction. Yeah, we have gone through deserts where there lay no way. 
It says, But as for the way of the Most High and the Mashiach Yahushua, we have not known it. We have not known it. So how are you going to make them know when they tell you that in the end, it's the very end, when we reach the salvation, they're going to be amazed at the strangers of our salvation. So far beyond all they look for. How are you going to make them know them know the most high when they, they're going to be amazed at the strangers of our salvation. That's for the way of the most high and about Shach Yavashach, they have not known it. They don't know it now and they don't know it when we reach the salvation. Brothers and sisters, the one third of the children of Israel that hear his word and apply his word and follow his commandments, they're never going to know it. So you want to follow them? You want to be Edomized? You want to be demonized? Go ahead. Suit yourself. As for me, I'm going to follow the most high in the Mashiach Kelp shot in this word. As it is written, and do what he say do to the best of my ability. Now, let me look at another scripture uh, concerning that. We got to do what's right. And what's right is what we're reading. And so therefore there's no excuse because you should know this. You should know this. That's why, look at Psalms 119. You know, I say it's a time.